It's your boy A minus Detroit's finest, and we about to go in where bars reign supreme. Where'd the name A minus come from? Why um, A plus? Because that name was already taken. That name was already taken. Some kid in New York named A minus, man. He got his song, uh, he made called, I think it's All I Need. And I'm like, damn, I, I, I always wanted to use, like, you know, the first letter of my name in a rap. So I was like, fuck it, I'll be A minus now. Since that nigga got A plus, you know what I mean? So I came off like that. And then I just start coming up, you know, with different little acronyms, you know, A minus the bullshit, you know, minus that whack shit, you know. But yeah, man, it started off for that nigga A plus. Yeah, for all I need, that song right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so do you remember the first rhyme you ever wrote? Or how old you were at the time? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Actually, yes, I was 10 years old. And I was... That's when Eminem was out and shit, and um, I said some shit. This is a couple bars. I think it's probably just a bar, nigga. I still don't know how to count bars that good, so forgive me. But anyway, it was like, I'm a rebel. Do a, do more tricks with my dick than the daredevil. Who's that shit? That ignorant shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was such a bad fucking kid, dog. Oh my god. Dog. Okay, and then were you in school? Were you like into like freestyle battling? Were you like? Hell yeah, the, nigga. The, the, the beats on the table with the pencil and the knuckle and the. This how I was. I'm saying I go. Okay, it, I, I really started taking rapping serious like middle school, and that's when you know when Ronald System Park start coming up with the Freestyle Fridays, like the old Ronald System Park, Ray J Free, the real shit. You know what I mean? And um, I used to just battle niggas on the playground. Like we didn't even have no real playground in my school. We had a fucking parking lot, so niggas would be in circle of the parking lot battling and shit. And all that stuff. And then I remember, like, you know, my first real big battle I won was at my brother's banquet. Uh, he played basketball, and he was getting his ass waxed by some nigga, right? He like, fuck, I'm going to get my big brother. You know what I mean? He can rap. Came in, saved the fucking day, dog. Even had the nigga's bitch rubbing my back. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. From that, like, at what point did you figure like yo this I'm gonna pursue this rap career man what this is like this for me I'm gonna go ahead and step my foot into the you know in the game in the game uh man to be honest stretch money bro when I first heard stretch money uh take money to get money don't take money to make money my bad um I'm like this is a nigga from Detroit that don't sound like he from Detroit you know what I mean and this nigga rhyming this nigga rapping so I'm like shit I rap like that, nigga. I don't rap like the rest of these niggas. So, you know what I mean? Anytime, you know, when I first saw him, you know, I was I was selling sneakers at Warner Connors Footlock and he came in. I was such a fan of the nigga, I gave that nigga a discount. You know what I mean? Everything. He didn't know, but I did, you know, him and Crane. You know, I, that right there would made me as I send my demos to him and everything. They never fucked with it. They never, they never responded back. But I just said all type of demos, mail my demos to Hot Lava to try to fuck with them when I was younger, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Still smoking just to get away. Let it jake. Piss me like it cloudy, then it's shitty day. I'ma fuck the twisters, give a fuck what any nigga say. Backwards of blood, but they rougher than a piston plate. Twisting hate, crucial conflict. Roll the bomb shit I got from a nigga that delivered to a fork bitch. Fuck this. Get you licking like a magic carpet. Riding on this journey, got the fire and burning. What's your thoughts on the local music scene? I love it, bro. I love it, man. I think, um,. Everybody is um, moving from the street cats to the lyrical cats. I never really thought that so many street rappers from east to west would be working together. Like growing up, that wasn't the thing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we saw, you know, what um, Blade and them, they tried once and, you know, didn't go right. You know what I mean? And, you know, just to see how cats like, you know, DZ can fuck with a T Grizzly and. Shit like that, you know, it's amazing. And you know, they both West Side, you know what I mean? But like, you know, like a GT can fuck with a West Side nigga, you know, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, just to see, you know, you know how my dog Nolan doing it, you know, for the for the real rhymes, you know? Like, you can make a move in the city, you can. You can make a stamp, you can make, if you if you add it, if you want it, you can make your spot. When you, you have a family, you got a nine to five, how do you balance all of that and still try to pursue a career at the same, music career at the same time? Nigga, it is hard, nigga. <laughs> it is hard. Nigga, that's the hardest job. Nigga, to be a rapper, then you a husband, and you got a job, nigga? 
Nigga, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Like, these niggas, listen, bro. I'm gonna keep it real funky. It's a lot of rappers that y'all like that got jobs, nigga. And they got some of the worst jobs, so they not gonna tell you, of course. They're gonna make it look like they living. But, nigga, Nick, listen, bro. I gotta get money to pay these bills. I gotta work. It is what it is, bro. Um, I'm not fortunate to sell drugs, nigga. I got a family. They, they take me to jail. Who gonna provide? You feel me? Like, it's real life, nigga. It's time to grow up. You know what I mean? But, I mean, it's hard. You just, you know... I tell you what, bro. It takes my wife, my parents, my brothers to help me, bro. You know what I mean? Family. I can say honestly, um, if you're trying to, you know, make a rap career, family. Whether if you don't have family, if you have nothing but friends that you fuck with, you know what I mean? That's family to me. I, I, I don't look at my friends as just friends. They're family. I let these niggas in my house. You know, I feed them. You know what I mean? So, if you want to be successful in anything... God and family, bro. You know what I mean? It's times that my my parents got to watch my kids. You know what I mean? When I do a show. Or, you know, my wife got to, you know, watch the kids. Cause, or she might want to go with me. So my parents have to, you know? You got to have family. You got to have that structure. And you got to want your dream. You got to chase it. This is something that I want. Man, rap is the hardest shit in the world, bro. It's a million niggas rapping every day. You know what I mean? It's just looking like I just wanted more than most of these niggas. That's it. And I do. So I know every everything isn't about necessarily what well, everything is about provide for your family and working towards your dream. But I'm sure you got some free time. When you're kicking back, what is A minus doing? When you taking his mind off music. And I play with my kids, bro. Me and my son play video games, man. You know, that's what we do. We play video games. We have so much fucking fun, dog. But yeah, yeah. other than that, man, really though, I, like I said, I like to spend time with my fam, dog. You know what I mean? Um, just chilling with them, watch Netflix, you know, like I said, my daughter getting older. Spend time with my family, bro. Cause like I said, I work a lot, do a lot of rap shit, bro. I just like to chill with the fam, you know, not do nothing or whatever. Play Capcom versus Marvel and yeah. shit. That's it, bro. That's, that's the life, man. Love it, bro. That's the life. That's Love the it. Shit bro. Out here, bro. Ain't shit out here, bro. Right, but you can get shot and robbed, nigga. It's a plenty of that. Plenty of that. Niggas giving that for free. Niggas <laughs> for free. Nigga, you ain't even asking for it. They giving it to you. <laughs> they giving it to you. You ain't got to ask to get robbed. You ain't out of ass to get shot in Detroit, baby. <laughs> Niggas are giving it to you. Giving it to you. <laughs> like, here. <Yeah>. Here. <laughs> you feel me? Love this damn city. <laughs> Love this city. It's for my ladies, for my lady, for my sister, my quick. It's for my ladies, for my lady, for my sister, my quick. It's for my ladies, for my lady, for my sister, my quick. It's for my ladies, for my ladies, yo. Check. She's so vicious, malicious, materialistic. Down from my hair to what nails in her lipstick. Thick chick and a pair of infrared sixes. Can I become your ruler? Give your dick by the inches. Licking and sticking and switching positions. My mission's to get this into your appendix. Tremendous scheme. Fuck a dollar in a dream when you keep buying the things. Alexander McQueen. Like, the highs and lows of this shit, man, be, be taking you there emotionally. It's like that, bro. Like I said, though, man, I have to love this shit to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Once I stop falling and stop being in love with it, that's when it's going to be like, fuck this shit. I don't want to do it. But the fact that I love, you know, rapping, I still love the sound of music. I love when I write my rhymes and I'm like, damn, that's some heat. You know what I mean? I love that shit. You know, it puts me in the mind like, you know, even though, you know, I'm 28, it put me in that mind when I was like in high school writing rhymes. You know what I mean? Like, damn, it takes me that, takes me back. And then you think like, damn, I'm getting sharper. You know, I'm getting better at this shit. So, you know, that's why I look at niggas like, oh, you know, they never put their shit out as dated. You know what I mean? I could listen to some, you know, Reservoir Dogs and listen to him now and see how he grew. Mm -hmm. And he was nasty on Reservoir mm -hmm. Dogs. Mm -hmm. He was nasty on Murder, Inc. with X and Ja Rule. Mm -hmm. That was one of the most dangerous verses ever, if you ask me. Niggas don't want to talk about that. How he slaughtered all two of them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? But other than that, you know, like I said, it's all about, you know, you gotta love it, bro. If you don't love it, if you don't appreciate it, you're gonna be like, fuck this shit, bro. And I, and I can't. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, I invested so much in it, and I love it, man. I do. What's up? So, what is the best advice anyone's ever given you? Um, the best advice, I heard Jay said it, and I, um, when I was working at Foot Locker on Aiden Grass shit, Trick Trick came in my store. And, like, nobody used to come in this store on Aiden Mountain Grass shit. You know what I mean? When I was working at Foot Locker. And he came in one day, bro, and he told me, whatever you do, if you're going to do this rap shit, don't quit. 
niggas that quit don't get nothing out of it. That what Trick Trick told me. You know what I mean? And this nigga didn't know me from a can of paint. And to be honest, since I kept doing it, I met rappers I look up to. You know what I mean? Don't quit, man. You open doors, you can really make some money, man. You know what I mean? I get a, I get a couple, couple dollars for some shows. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can get my oil change. You know? All that shit. All right. Hey, yo. I just want to get my mama rich. I know I put her through a lot of shit, but I'ma take a pile of it away before I'm out this bitch. Thanks for the meals and paying for the bills and for staying with my father nowadays. That shit's surreal. Finally understanding all the things I took for granted. Now I'm planting seeds that I'm breeding on this planet. Never asked for nothing. Every Christmas had us something. More than we asked for. Whoop a nigga ass for us. All you asked for were good grades and do chores. Now I'm older and I'm hoping I can do more. Whip with a stitching cords had me feeling sore. After all the healing, feeling like I should have listened more. Telling myself that I'm smelling myself. Could have been in jail or inside a cell with myself. Or an early grave at an early age. Had to turn the page to see the bigger picture. I see me getting richer. Getting houses that you wish for. With the three car garages. Damn, got the rest. <laughs> with the three car garages. With circle driveways right beside it. State of the yard kitchen with maids watching the dishes. Thanksgiving, all the fixings. What else I'm missing? My only mission is to grant you all your wishes. Like your son is a genie, I'ma make it my believe me. This rap shit ain't easy, they be faking on the TV. These chumps never had the proper trunk to pump their CD. Or go to a show with only four rat attendants. One is the bartender, the other three are your niggas. Buzz getting bigger like a dip swisher. Hate I rap drugs, but these kids, they don't listen. If I don't mention selling a Dylan or popping Ritalin, these kids lose their interest and they don't want to listen. But make it even harder for me to put us where I want us to be. Check it. Yo, they make it harder for me, for me to put you where I want us to be. You know? Just want to get my mama rich. Yeah.